I'm Dr. Nakagawa, the lead researcher on the project. Cervical cancer is the best known cancer caused by human papillomavirus, or HPV. Although the availability of pap smear screening has decreased the number of cervical cancer cases in developed nations, cervical cancer is still the third most common cancer in women worldwide due to lack of screening in developing nations. HPV can also cause cancers of anus, penis, oral cavity, vagina, and vulva, and estimated to cause 5% of all cancers in the world. Currently available HPV vaccines are prophylactic or preventative and need to be given prior to being exposed to HPV through sexual activities. The vaccine we're currently testing is therapeutic and targets for women with high-grade dysplasia or precancerous lesion. This vaccine was designed based on work performed by my group in the past two decades, first in San Francisco, California, then in Little Rock, Arkansas. We examined immune responses in women infected with HPV and all who had dysplasia and found that those that can mount immune response to an HPV protein called E6 had better clinical outcome in that they were able to clear HPV infection or regress dysplasia. Therefore, fragments of E6 in peptide form or short protein are contained in the current vaccine. To enhance immune response to these fragments of E6, which are synthetically made, we will mix them with Canada skin testing reagent, which has been shown to be able to regress warts, another condition caused by HPV. The Canada skin testing reagent itself is FDA approved and has been used clinically. We are delighted to have been able to move this HPV therapeutic vaccine, the combination, into a clinical trial phase. 